Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our Let's Play of Rome Total War, the original with the Julii. Now that's actually an issue. Why are we going down in population growth here? Because we need to become a huge city. All that slavery is going. Oh Jesus. Well last time anyway, we fought our way to Alesia uh, in the north. And we're coming down towards Alexandria here, which seems to not have any garrison. Maybe some pharaohs, uh, pikemen or whatever they're called. And we fought a brutal battle here at Ankira against um, troops with uh, side chariots. So Pontus is reasonably strong, however it looks like they haven't got that much left in um, Mazaka, I think it is, yeah. So uh, we can't move this guy any further. Now. It is a minor city, which is good, so we should be able to retrain all these guys because we got absolutely savaged in that last fight. It was pretty brutal against the um, against the uh, scythe chariots. Luckily, the rest of their army was trash, like Eastern Infantry, who we smashed, who apparently decided to kill over 150 of my men here when we auto-resolved this battle. Which was kind of crazy. Oh my god, yeah, it's got no population. Let's put that down. We don't need money from here. How much was it making anyway? Yeah, that's a negligible difference. Same, probably, yeah, we're already on low taxes at, at um, Sardis. Halicarnassus, you're okay. So, I think that's everything we can do for this turn. So, let's end the turn and get on to... Um, the next few battles and the next uh, the next few uh, fights. Now, in terms of the plan, we're going to take out Pontus and then we'll see how weak and strong Armenia is. I'm not too fussed about taking these settlements up here. I mean, we obviously will do. However, it might mean we split our army up, whereas I want to uh, bring the full force of them against Egypt because they're our biggest rival right now. Now, the Brutii are supposedly quite strong, um, but they're basically like lurch in hot fuzz where they're really strong but incredibly dumb like you have enough troops here Brutii you've got th probably three full stacks between all these troops uh, and you still can't even decide whether you want to bring like s uh, starve out by the Zora so pretty dumb also the Scipii got this one big army but that's it Gaius uh, is that Gaius the Harsh he always seems to be called Gaius the Harsh I don't know why must be his um, must be um, one of his traits yeah we can't see it though unfortunately um, but yeah so we're starting to build up we're starting to make a bit of money let's just check we're doing all right with the buildings these places I assume can't build yet awesome and we're good, so let's end the turn and get going. Oh, we're bringing these ships back. Completely forgot about that. But Greece is starting to build up pretty nicely right now. Um, oh, Herius the Great versus. For some reason, they think the battle's in their favour. They've got like half the amount of troops. I know these are like chosen swordsmen, I think, and maybe some uh, nobles. So these barbarian noble cavalry, what are they like? They got 10 attack, 15 defense. What about my equites? I mean, I can't see my equites right now. Herius the Great is an awesome commander, though. Also, the barbarian uh, turncoat. He also his whole life is war, apparently, because he has no other traits. Um, so let's get into the battle here. I'm sure our equites. We'll have a look at them. So let's just check what these barbarian noble cavalry are like. 10 attack, 7 charge bonus, and 15 defense. So let's try and remember that um, after the general speech. Oh, we're getting attacked. We're getting attacked from inside the city. We'll have to pause it then. Uh, there might not be a general speech, but I just want to check our equities with the experience, see whether they're better than the barbarian noble cavalry the already. Has gone. Nope. Grim we are having the speech. But how much more terrible to be facing Romans such as us? Even now, fear must weaken the bowels of our foes. The girls fool themselves and think they are our equals or better. I think they had the stench of death about them. Are you men enough to win this battle? Are you equal to the challenge? 
If you are, then plunder and loot await. This is the last obstacle in our way before the city walls. Win here, and you can stroll to your prize. We stand on the defensive today. Let them wear themselves out against our battle line. The count of our warriors is vastly greater than theirs. So unless we fight like old women or idiots, victory is certain. Both armies have strong cavalry detachments. This will be a day for the noble horsemen to prove their worth. I have fought these men many times, and even now they must be praying to their false gods for mercy. They will have little enough of it from me. Three. The that officers it? have oh, been no. taken, and God be praised, nothing can be found to deny us victory today. With such portents, we need only march upon the enemy. Brave Romans, prepare to defend yourselves! That's got to be it, surely. Yeah. Let's just have a look at these equites. Yeah, these equites are actually better now than the uh, the barbarian noble cavalry that, that don't have experience. But they're about similar. I think the charge bonus is still less because it doesn't change. But yeah, these guys are better. They got more defense. It's mainly from defense skill though. So you know, uh, archers and that can still wreck them. So I don't know why I did it so inefficiently then. But let's uh, group these guys up. Now we have this huge mound in the middle here, um, and I think. The other army will be coming from this way, but and we could like get ready to fight them straight away. But I think we go for the other guys. I hate trees. I hate forests in this game. So annoying to fight in it. See, look at this. Right there we are, and these barbarian mercenaries can come here. Now, I don't know why it weighted their troops so much higher than ours. I know they have all right troops, but they've only got like three units. Men. I think we can be safe in fighting these guys straight away because... Uh, and killing them straight away because... Uh, I don't think they'll... I think they'll still weight themselves a lot higher. Uh, these are chosen swordsmen. What are their stats? No. I want... Ah, uh, it's probably because we can't see them. Ah, it's not working. I was hoping we'd be able to see. Maybe, are these guys chosen swordsmen? Yeah, our Hastati have 9 melee attack, 13 missile attack, and 15 defense. They're warband. Hmm. I still think they'll be quite a bit worse than the uh, chosen swordsmen. Just do the standard tactic, of course. Um, charge them in the back. Did we put you guys on fire at will? We did. Now, where is there a gap in this line? Oh, yeah. Bring these guys up here. Now, where's our generals? Because they're the strongest units we have. But, oh my god, these guys are breaking or broken already. Alright, let's go. Bring you three to maybe charge the barbarian warlord. Oh, Astarte. Let's go. And Equites. So I uh, start might get slightly a bit wrecked here actually. But no, looks alright. They've they've taken that charge amazingly. Wow, wow, wow. The heart of the enemy How did we not lose any men? The enemy army is in flight. Wow, we are shooting them, them from, from the battlefield. The strongest Astarte. Enemy general won't cricks. Cool. I don't think they will worry too much about um, running away because uh, they, they still think they're really strong for some reason. I don't know why the balance of power is so much, but we've got more men, we're more experienced. Um, they're not better quality, that is one thing. But, yeah, we just need to get rid of the rest of the warbands. Let's go speed up a bit. Done. Excellent. We don't need to get rid of the rest of that barbarian uh, warlord because... Let's all come up here. Because um, they're all, their general's already dead. Wait, who are you fighting? What? Who are you fighting? 
The invisible man! What is this dead man? This guy just this guy's just double tapping basically. That is the equivalent of a melee double tap. Chopping him up while he's on the floor. Come on. Come on, Trevor, calm down. Calm down. He's dead. He's fucking dead. <laughs> Get off him. What's that thing, uh... Oh, it's God of War where, uh... Boy, he just starts stabbing the ogre forever. Interesting that there's this glitch. I hope we don't get a crash. It would be kind of annoying. How much... Yeah, we don't have much, uh... Peeler left. But we should just be able to get around these guys. Kill this barbarian noble cavalry. It's not an actual general, so... Should be quite easy. How about we send these guys forward first? I honestly don't know how we didn't take any losses there. Did they stop charging? They could have stopped charging. That might be it. Right, they're going to charge now. We've definitely taken losses in the equites. Let's go after the Barbarian Noble Cavalry. Harrius the Great leading the charge. Why are they going so slow? Are they tired? Wounded, that's about it. They're going really slow. The charge is rubbish there. Broken them. Yeah, we are losing it. I was like wondering whether there's some sort of glitch or something going on. This no. Way for a to behave, I think that's just... Um, I think that's just... Uh, they, they didn't charge. They probably charged and then just ran in. We've got enough defense. I don't know. That was weird, but... We absolutely wrecked them. They, they ran into our Histartium. And, uh, with Noble Cavalry. And... They ain't done anything to us. Let's continue, let's get rid of both of these armies. We can go into Elysia right now if we do. I honestly can't believe they've attacked us here. Are they mental? Well, obviously. Get rid of those guys. Nice. How many have we lost? 7% killed 100%. However, we did start with a lot more troops than them, so... You know, numbers might be a little... Uh, percentages might be a little deceiving. Looks like we've won. This is cool. a heroic victory. Worthy yeah, of these guys have gone. Hoping we can get in the uh, in the settlement now then. Okay, 485 kills, they killed 77. Those are starting were standing strong against the cavalry. Probably actually thinking about the peeler, probably killed their first wave of charge. Can I can I move to see? Apparently I can't move the map. So I can't see what it's on, but we'll just enslave it. Probably because it's the end turn. Ugh. Bloody rebel navies everywhere. I hate them. They always have so much experience as well. Tertius Silius, he's a true Roman. He's a confident commander and he's a bureaucrat, which are all really good. Um, let's just, let's see where Decius is first. Uh, no. You've already asked me to do that twice. Enemy army routes, Herius. Cool. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Let's retrain. Yeah, we need to spread the experience around a little bit. Upgrades missile weapons. Hmm. These guys do have missile weapons. But I'm not sure that it does upgrade them. Although, it's saying we can upgrade the AT... Um, Stasi. So we might actually want to keep. Uh, we might want to keep this. Although that could be the blacksmith. That's yeah. Hmm. It's probably the blacksmith, honestly. So let's let's just spread the experience around a little bit. These guys have still got 54. That's good. Very nice. Okay, didn't bring those guys up, but. It spread the uh, silver experience around a little bit. 
they already have that upgrade to their weapons, so I am wondering whether this is uh, due to uh, the the missile weapons being able to be upgraded. I mean, I'm hoping that would be really nice. No, not all of them can be retrained, so... Yeah, some of them that were trained from Massilia didn't have blacksmith upgrades, so that's what it is. So we should probably destroy this. Place with Jupiter, I bet there's a lot of function here. Actually, not too much, but there isn't much money either. Uh, retrain you guys as well. And we need some missile troops, so let's go with that. Could get a ballista, but it just slows you down so much. Certain Numidia. That's probably giving us unrest here. No. Oh, he was he was found though, so he should be uh, should be gone. Agent found Elysia. Uh, lots of construction been going on. Good. Uh, recruitment. We aren't recruiting. Oh, Ankira Town Watch. Good, good. Now that's back to being happy. Now let's. Who was it? Was it Decius? Right. Who's Decius? General. That's Vibius. We've got this guy. We've got Amulius. Imperator. Lentilus Gracchus and Vet Thingy Veti. Oh, he is very good commander right now. And he's only 28. That is so good. Um, now, is Decius in Carthage? Not Manius, isn't it? That's Decimus Le uh, Linus. That's Lucius. Hmm. Decius must be here then. Yes, he is. Uh, do we take this guy I think we do he is good I think we leave him as a as a um, as a governor I think he could be a good governor now hmm. should have actually probably put him in the town now Eretium so close uh, population growth has gone back up because of slavery I assume should be able to upgrade next turn and then hopefully we'll bring in the reforms because of that um, what they call the um, Marian reforms. Sparta, what do we want here? Making a bit of money from trade. Corruption. What's this? That's a large temple of Jupiter, which should be bringing down the corruption. It's only 15% law, so it's not huge, but it's fine. Now, retrain these guys. You're only a minor city, so let's keep upgrading its public order and uh, baths and all that sort of thing. Um, Corinth, how much will the highways make? They cost 2,400, so quite expensive. About 50 extra. So it's going to take a while for them to repay themselves. Let's go with the, this because it brings up population growth. Massalia, go with the um, sewers. Halicarnassus, we've got the port, which should be making plenty of money. Wow, that's huge. That's a good increase for the roads. How about that? That's more of an increase, I think, wasn't it? That was um, 89 to... Yeah, 89 is better. So let's go with the market. Could do the walls, but I'm hoping this doesn't even get attacked until we fight the Romans. Uh, Pergamum. Let's keep going. Oh, we could get the mines here. A lot of corruption. Huge amount of corruption. That only reduces it by 100. Let's go for the mines. Now, a lot of that income will be lost to corruption. Yeah, it's only 200, so what is it? Silver? Yeah, it's silver. Um, it's worth it. We have the money, so let's just keep on going with that. Cyrene, you're terrible, so keep on growing, and hopefully you'll get good at some point. Lugdunum, let's go with the road so we can get troops here quicker if we need to. Uh, and Kira, yeah, we can't do anything else. Uh, Nicomedia, I assume we can't do anything else yet. They're both happy though, that's good. And let's move these Imperator. troops if we can. Bring these supply forwards. Mazaka, looks like maybe it's at least a city. Now they got scythe chariots, but they won't be able to do anything inside the city really. It's going to take us two turns to get there. It's slow. Um, now to kill the scythe chariots, we could go for some spearmen, but eastern eastern infantry, eastern mercenaries, like eastern infantry, is what we've been fighting. They're poor morale, and they are absolutely trash. Now these Sarmatian mercenaries are good, like charge bonus of ten, 
they've got good morale, powerful charge. But I think we go for the horse archers just because of how valuable they are as a unit. They're incredibly good and incredibly Imperial. valuable. Now, this army's full, so let's just go a little bit at a time. Can't remember where this... Um, so there's definitely a city here, is it? There, maybe? At your service. See, oh, yeah, Sino. Oh, that's big. I thought Mazaka was the capital. It's a city. This is a minor city. Sinop looks like a large city. Let's have a look at how many things they've got left. Uh, Pontus. Let's go for... Oh, didn't mean to do that. I went, meant to do the other one. Um, no. Pontus. Hmm. Is that two or is that three? It's two or three, so we should be rid of them very soon. I think it might be two. If these belong to Armenia, that would be good. We'll get rid of a, another faction. We've already got rid of the Greeks. Get rid of these guys and we'll be on our way getting rid of the um, Gauls. So we're staying in Elysia. That's good. And is it time to declare war on Egypt? I think so. Set sail! All ashore! Imperator! Thingies they were, yeah, these are absolute trash. We don't want to deal with them. Large city, Alexandria. I wonder whether they'll bring an army to try and relieve this. I don't think they'll have one close enough, though. They haven't been expanding out this side, so that's good for us. Those boats are probably going to get destroyed. But they'll be okay. Now, let's bring you up here. Keep on going. You've both moved, and... Yeah, I think that's everything. Done all the construction, haven't we? Brilliant. Um, yep. So, Elysia. Now, long term, yeah, we want to retrain all these guys. We'll retrain our general as well. Although, he's going to stay in Elysia, I think. He's going to bring Elysia up to be a large city. Oh, cool, these little peasant guys, we forgot to move them, but it's okay. Carthage is still kicking about with Lily Biome. Hmm, Dacians have reasonably large forces up there. I, uh, just, 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 just sink the ship, if you would. Uh, now, these peasants. Let's get rid of the Thracians, because their upkeep is more. The peasants are only 100, and they provide more public order. That's going to make it grow a little bit quicker. It's still got nobody in there though. Now, city expands. Oh, I was hoping that was going to be Eretium. Surely Eretium's pretty close now. 23603. I could have sworn it was 23700 and something last. But I guess not. End of turn report. Doing well for money. We might overtake the Bruti at some point or the Scipii. That was a redrain. Oh, yeah, we've got peasants. Uh, that Spartan peasants redrained. I thought we had peasants in here. But probably not. Um, and we should probably build. If we build stone walls, it will just help defend against the uh, Bre uh, Bretons if they decide to attack. Now, let's bring the spy up here, see what's going on with this town. And I think that's what we'll do. Uh, they've got a large army here. But, you know, if they want to go take Lugdunum, that's fine. All they can recruit now is trash, because they've just got towns left apart from this one. But it's going to take them a while to bring troops up here. So I think we go take that, take that. Don't worry about these guys unless they take Lugdunum. If they do, we'll march back down. And it should only take them... should take them at least one turn um, to build the siege equipment. So they have one turn where they don't build siege equipment, so... Should be good with that. Now, let's do the construction and let's probably siege Alexandria. Are you, what's your general? Ah, oh, it's a chariot general. Hmm. Do we have any missile troops here? Got these Belliaric slingers and we got these guys. The, the thing with the uh, chariot troops though is they will not be able to move around in the city. It's another large city and they've got Pharaoh's bowmen, missile attack of 10, pretty strong. These Pharaoh's guards are okay, but we can flank them very easily. Your Honor. Um, spy. Is the Petra? Is no, Petra's over here. So Thebes as well. 
And then we've got Desert Cavalry and Nubian Cavalry, so that should be quite easy. Just getting rid of these generals that are Egyptian chariots. Chariots are just a nightmare to deal with, so should be okay. And let's move these guys. You're going to be able to get to snow. Let's take the, um, some ladders as well. Cool. And let's siege Mazako as well. I don't think they'll uh, they'll come out, so we'll have two siege battles here to deal with, which is okay, but... Secrecy is, hmm. is this is this little sliver here another another piece of land Pontic land? Why can't we go through this way? We have to go round that, don't we? Let's go up that way anyway. And see what's going on. Uh, let's do the construction. Suggester. Hmm. Let's have a look. That's a reasonable increase. So let's go with that. Medellianium. Um, we've got. Cavalry stables here, so we should be able to start recruiting maybe legionary cavalry as soon as the Marian reforms come in. Um, what else? None of these give experience or anything like that, do they? So let's go with let's keep on building up our ability to build a military here because we're going to be building, pumping out stacks pretty soon. We want to be able to anyway. If we've got four in the same area, now I still want these guys to get up to huge cities but you know we need armies we need armies very much so I assume the roads don't do anything here no so let's go with that market Suggestica market again get that population growth keep going Palmer wooden wall yeah we're just building everything here because it's all kind of useless Athens, large temple of Jupiter. How much corruption is here in Athens? Still a lot, but there's a lot of trade. How much does that add to trade? Oh, nice. Let's keep going with that and we'll get a port, uh, port next. Larissa. Larissa can upgrade. Didn't get the notification about that again, but no worries. Uh, Kydonia. Go with the market. And Rhodes. Let's go with forum cool sardis let's go with how much the problem is with this mining like most of the money will just be lost to corruption it's only 50 extra and it's only it's 150 so it's only 100 extra gold per turn here in sardis but uh, we might as well take it and yeah let's wait for these archers to be done and then we'll uh, we'll march on from elysia yes. cool so, Alexandria, let's go. This will probably be the last battle of this episode, guys, and then we'll uh, then we'll end it. And then next episode, we should maybe destroy Pontus, um, which will be awesome. And we'll keep moving on call, hopefully kill them before the Bretons declare war on us, because the Bretons will declare war on us, you know, as soon as we have a border, really, which we have a border now, so... Take Let's listen the to the shield. speech. The first Rush speech the against spear. the Egyptians. Sharpen the sword's edge. This is a day of destiny. And fate of many will be decided in this place. Those men are the servants of Pharaoh. They think themselves our equals. But I think they are dead meat. They have been lulled into a false sense of security by a few feet of defensive wall. As if that will protect them. The count of our warriors will show you who is truly favored by the gods. It is not our foes. Our brave horsemen must wait to do their work until a breach has been opened in the enemy defenses. Those fools have never fought against me before. I hope to give them a nasty surprise. I have won many great victories for Rome. Be strong in that truth and let this be one more. March on! And know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans. We end it. Cool. Interesting to see, like, look how big these buildings are in this city. Is <laughs> what building's that? Um, and it's a straight run into the square here. Even though it's a large city, they've got tiny walls. It's kind of funny. Councillors' chambers. Wow, that looks cool. Ooh. Looks like a cool city. Interesting design compared to um, the Greek or the uh, 
the Roman cities really, when you think about it. And obviously the barbarian cities are look like trash, so. Um, right, who do we want to hold the ram? I think we don't want to send our cavalry in against the chariots, they're also all pretty damaged. However, I wouldn't be averse to losing these guys. So, we'll send them in this game against the chariots. And we'll send in the Principes and the Hastati against the Pharaoh's Guard. Now, these two guys will work as well. Um, come up here with these guys. This is the main general. I want you to come here. And who do we want to put on the ram? Um, how much armor? They've got seven armor, the Principes. So, I think we'll put this slightly damaged uh, unit on. And let's go. Don't really need to, to open any more uh, holes in the wall, I don't think. They're just going to stay in the town square as well. It's actually good for us. Bring you guys over to the left. Because there isn't a um, tower there. There's one over here, which might start shooting these brick bays, which not ideal, but that's fine. Okay, here the chariots are. There's such a small amount of them, that's the only thing. But, yeah, we can't, we still can't uh, look at them because they're too far away. But they have so many hit points, it's ridiculous. I wonder how armoured these ones are, though, compared to the uh, Pontic uh, scythed ones. The other thing we haven't come across is elephants yet. Now, we can't get elephants, I don't think. Pretty sure. Well, we'll check in Carthage when. Yeah, we, we, we most definitely can't get elephants, but would be awesome. There hasn't even been any mercenary elephants in Carthage. So, also we can send these Numidian guys in straight away because I really don't care the gates with a ram. whether they die or not. So yeah. Now I could have auto resolved this, but. Honestly, with the results last time against um, Pontic, literally Eastern Inf oh, not you guys, you uh, not Eastern Infantry, um, where we lost 150 men. Like, there's no reason to do that now. Right, you guys go distract them while we bring in the uh, base and the Stati. Where are you going? Is this not the way? Apparently, it's quicker to go this way. Hmm. Interesting. We might send our generals over here, actually. We can get the Principes to... What do you call them? Get rid of these Pharaoh's Guard. Or take them from the front. We can send our generals in from the back to absolutely smash them. These guys just don't know what to do, like... When they're going through gates and stuff really have no idea. So, yeah. I don't want these guys to die, but, you know, it's not too much of an issue, really. Let's see, where are you going? Start firing at the chariots, please. Uh, if you draw the chariots through, that would actually be awesome. Now, I don't know whether our general will kill them, though. They should be taking some damage from the. Um, are they, do they have bows on here? Yeah, they do. They should be taking some damage from the Numidians, but the Numidians look like they're taking more damage than these guys. Uh, right, you two generals, let's come here, get ready to charge if we want to, if we, uh, if we can. The, I'm kind of worried that they're literally going to charge here and then there, which kind of negates their charge. See whether we can get a good charge off before they start going mental. They've got big walls in here, that's the one thing. Uh, big uh, roads. Now, Principes and that come over this side. Now, our generals, how are they doing? Generally, chariots kind of shred cavalry, but our general's pretty strong. He's dead. Good. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in I don't want to have to spots. fight a bloody 50 unit of these, that's the only other thing. Come, kill these guys. 
No need to worry about that. Don't worry about that. We'll come up here. How many have we lost? Probably like, yeah, 2% apparently. Thought it would be slightly less. They've just stopped. So, you guys just come here. Put you on a fire wall. We might be able to like, literally shoot these guys to death. Let's come back, come back, come back. Get away from that phalanx, we don't want to touch that. Let's uh, bring these guys close, might make them turn around. Oh yeah, they turned around. What are the slingers doing to these guys? Can we come here, slingers? Right. Starty! Looking resplendent in their red armor. And the Brink Bays. Yeah, cool. Let's bring these guys up as fast as Their phalanxes are like so strong in defensive position, but that war for just any other position. Doesn't look like our um, slingers have done anything to them, to be honest. Oh, uh, maybe the Numidians killed a couple. You guys should fire and get out of there, really. Oh, look at that. Another volley? Might get a Yeah, that's some all dead. Nice. This is a heroic victory Those peeler are Roman lethal. Who uh, was that friendly fire we just lost men to then? Bloody hell. 16 dead, but quite a few of those. Like, let's have a look at the start here. Okay, we lost like three guys to friendly fire. Not too bad, that's okay. But if the rest of the cities around the um, eastern side of Egypt are like this, we don't get. Oh my days, have they got a plague here? So I want to enslave. Yeah, because that'll help grow some cities. Especially Eretium. Now, don't worry about the armorer. Let's get that upgrade doing and we should get the Marion reforms. Now, Nero Rex, you are a very good general. Uh, you're a poor farmer though. You're a vanquisher. You're sharp. You're a drill master, which isn't great for morale, but it gives you speed. Is there anything else that gives you uh, morale in here? I, don't, I think you've just got exotic slaves, yeah. Mercenary captain. Yeah. Anyone else got a good retinue? You got a tutor. That gives you one management though. I'm honestly considering leaving a um, a general here. Like you've got two influence as well, so you'll be helpful in uh, making sure the town stays uh, stays all right. Now we can retrain Prinkabase here. That's awesome. Uh, we want to get rid of these two. Now they only have Velites though. I was going to hope hopefully train some archers. Um, and what else do you have here? What's this wonder do? Nearby ships is at sea sinking. Not really great, but at least it makes uh, ships be able to move further. So, if we take Alexandria, Memphis and Thebes, we're literally taking three large cities in a row, which is awesome. Should definitely make us the um, most advanced faction if we do that. So let's retrain as many as we can here. Yeah, it's pretty tight in terms of. Uh... No, that's going to merge those two. Um, where's the temple here? Large temple of Horus. It's basically the same as that. Now they hate it. Here. You know, um, unrest, culture penalty, distance capital, and squalor. Garrison's only at 40% though. It looks like they were at 28,000. Because we just enslaved 14,000 people. So they might have been upgrading it to a large city. Kind of gutting that we've uh, yes, got rid of them all then. Huge city, it would be nice. But now when we upgrade it, it'll be a lot better. Uh, because that culture penalty won't be there forever. Whereas if we upgraded it... Oh wait, was that 45? Oh, I'd miss these guys. You go here. Mm, yeah. 
where we don't need to, we can't retrain all these guys. So let's uh, let's just make sure we do this right. They got some experience. That's good. Can we give you any experience? Okay, you've got three now. That's good. Let's retrain um, all of these apart from one of the boats. And who do do we want to train? Could train some tree REI. They might be able to deal with the. Um, what do you call them? The uh, the chariots. While we're at it. So you finished. Yeah, it looks like everything's finished. Uh, we've taken Alexandria, which is awesome. It is unhappy, so we might have to work out the uh, uh, the public order for a little bit. But once we've done that, we should be able to strike Memphis really quickly and Thebes. So I don't know how quickly we might have to uh, exterminate these guys. Which, at the end of the day, is not great, but it's fine. Um, it's going to reduce our own population from taking these, but um, it should be okay. Alright guys, so thank you very much for watching. Please do remember to subscribe, like, and follow me on Twitch, where you can catch me gaming every single day. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you again in the next video.